the stage in my life that I'm in right now. I'm, I'm learning how to be on my own. I'm discovering things about myself and learning how to just kind of embrace the quietness. But I think that was kind of the universe's way, God, whatever you believe in. It was kind of like the way for me to say goodbye. You feel like you've had enough. Life is just kind of like, nope. And it laughs in your face and it just throws you something else. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Icy and I'm so happy to have you here. So in this video, we are back with another Chats with Icy, except I am actually going to be getting ready while I do this video. I figured it was a great way to just kind of catch up with you guys, but also I am going out tonight with some friends. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone. So there's quite a bit that I wanted to talk about. I was in a really reflective mood today. Let's just kind of catch up for a bit. Um, I'm also gonna be sharing some of the products that I like to use. I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday natural makeup routine. Typically, I don't wear makeup at all because I do work from home mostly, so I just think it makes the most sense for my skin to breathe. But when I do go out, this is the makeup look that I usually default to or I'll do some type of variation of it, but it mostly stays the same. So first I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. This is a super affordable primer and it works really great. I think I put, or I did a little too much, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go in with this. It's just a nice base for my skin. I have a mirror as well on the side. So if you see me looking that way, it's because I have an additional mirror going on. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I have loved this, and this is in 40N. Honestly, now I don't wear foundation. I always wear either concealer or I'll do a tinted moisturizer and then a little bit of concealer under my eyes just because I think it looks the most natural and I like how lightweight it feels. This one is specifically also has um, sunscreen in it, which is great. So let's actually talk about what's been happening in my life because I feel like there's been quite a bit. If you've been following my past few videos, then you know that I have kind of been on a journey, shall we say, a, a journey of learning how to be on my own, learning how to adapt to this new reality that I have never experienced before. This is the first time that I am single. This I was in my relationship for almost four years, which I know some people have been in longer relationships, but you know, I like to consider that a pretty long-term relationship. So it's definitely been interesting navigating this new this new reality in my life just because I got so used to having someone just always there and something that has become really apparent for me is that I didn't realize how much I depended on someone to make me happy and how much I depended on someone to just validate myself and someone to fill my time with. like it never occurred to me how much, how I guess codependent I was on my ex. And so I feel like I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm learning how to handle loneliness because prior to January or prior to this year, I've never understood or could really empathize with people who struggled with loneliness. I always kind of felt like it was something like, oh, you just have to learn how to love yourself and you just have to have hobbies for yourself. Well, obviously when I got out of a relationship, my reality completely changed and I was like, oh, okay. I think I know what people are talking about now because there is a bit of an adjustment period that you have to go through because, you know, when you are living with someone you do get used to their company and that's something that has that was definitely a shock to my system i was so used to waking up with and going to bed with the same person 
Um, and so it's like a completely different routine. Now, that has also forced me to really confront a lot of, I think, I guess you could say insecurities of mine or things that I ne was, like never really forced myself to work on. For example, like dealing with how to be fully on my own. Like I've talked about before about how I think I'm pretty independent when it comes to doing my own hobbies like YouTube, for example, or um, for, you know, just like taking a day to myself. But when it comes to like day to day living alone and doing life on my own, that's a very different and kind of scary thing for me. And so I kind of had to relearn myself. And that's kind of the stage in my life that I'm in right now. I'm, I'm learning how to be on my own. I'm discovering things about myself and learning how to just kind of embrace the quietness. That's one thing that I didn't realize that the first few weeks the apartment felt really, really empty and quiet just because I was so used to having someone else there. And so that has been interesting. Um, and I would say there's good days and bad days, you know, because life is all about waves and you're never going to constantly be in the same emotional state forever right like your feelings change as life changes and so it's been a lot of just kind of having to ride the waves there are moments where i do get a little bit anxious still and i get my anxiety kind of flares up but then I have to remind myself that it's temporary and that feelings aren't facts, you know? And so that's just been something that I've been having to, to, to work on. And actually something that is kind of an exciting update is that I am going back to therapy. I've decided that with this new change in my life and also with how work has been, which I'm gonna get into that in just a minute, I realized that going back into therapy I think would be really beneficial for for me because as much as I believe in being able to regulate your own emotions and I don't think that you should be dependent on again people to make you feel better I do think sometimes professional help like therapy it can help in situations where you are being, you know dealing with kind of bigger life situations also i'm setting my makeup with the laura mercier powder translucent powder this is a classic cult beauty product i'm sure you guys have heard of it but yeah i'm starting therapy again so i'm probably going to be starting that i would say by february and I'm actually really excited for it because I think it's going to be nice to have an outlet where I can really process my emotions and because January has been a lot to say the least. Um, something else that has happened in January as well that I didn't really update you guys on or it hasn't been on my vlogs is that I actually have been dealing with a family loss. So my grandpa recently passed away earlier this month. Um, in fact, it was two, was it last week? Yeah, I want to say it was last week. And I can't find the specific brush. Oh, here it is. But he passed away. And, you know, timing is such a funny thing because I think sometimes life will throw you a curveball. Like when you feel like you've had enough, life is just kind of like, nope. And it laughs in your face and it just throws you something else. So that was definitely something that was not fun to deal with in the moment. I was really close to my grandpa and we all knew it was coming, honestly. And I think it's better that he is, you know, resting now and not, not suffering. But that was definitely something that I was just like, okay, again, like another thing that I have to, you know, emotionally deal with. Like, cause I was already feeling very emotionally fragile and, and vulnerable with the whole situation going on. But then when I got the call that he passed away from my dad, it was very hard in the moment. But, you know, I'm also very grateful that I had a chance to say goodbye to him. Something that I was reflecting on is that, 
the week that I was back home in Orange County, that was actually the last time that I saw my grandpa and it was on a Tuesday. The next week later, exactly, he passed away. And so when I look back at it, of course, it's sad to lose someone that you love and that you're close to. But I think that was kind of the universe's way, God, whatever you believe in. It was kind of like the way for me to say goodbye. And I like to think that it was fate that I was back home that weekend or that week in Orange County. You guys saw that vlog that I was there for the entire week. I like to think that it was just divine timing that I was there and I was meant to be there to say goodbye to him. So yeah, that's been happening. Let's talk about work because I feel like I haven't really touched on that. So work has definitely been a lot. If you guys didn't know, if you've been following me then, you know, this is not going to be new news, but I recently started a new job on or in December. I am now a resource manager for a deposition company and we handle different court proceedings, but basically in a nutshell, what I do is I'm in charge of making sure that the jobs um, and the proceedings, I'm, I'm in charge of staffing those proceedings and making sure that we have a court reporter staffed and making sure that we have a videographer or an interpreter, like whatever resources we need in order for the job to get done, it's my job to find those people. And it's a lot of calendaring and it's been really, really intense, like not gonna lie, this is definitely, I like to say my big girl job because I mean, one, it's salaried, but also it's just the workload of it is very intense. And I've definitely had my fair share of breakdowns and doubts. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do a whole separate video on just like the concept of work-life balance because I feel like honestly, this past week, I do not have work-life balance. I feel like it has been completely out the window because as, as, as I'm adjusting and trying to get used to this role, um, I'm realizing that I just don't have enough time to get everything done in a single work day. So I will be, so I will work overtime or I will work through my lunch. Like this past week, I don't even think I took a proper lunch, which honestly, I think is normal when you're in a salary job because when you're salaried, you know, you, you're not paid by the hour, obviously. So you kind of work um, however long it takes to get the job done. But it's just a new concept for me because I've always been hourly previous to this job. So when it's six o'clock or five o'clock, I'm used to just clocking out and finishing my work the next morning. But in this situation, because it's more of a leadership role and there's more responsibility, and I'm not hourly, there's kind of this expectation to stay and get the job done. And so it's been a struggle for me to find that work-life balance and not feel really overwhelmed and burnt. I'm really hoping that this week though, and as the next few weeks go by and I get a little bit more comfortable in the role, I'm hoping that that'll just kind of come with time. Also, I didn't tell you guys, but I just put the e.l.f. putty bronzer I think this is in the sh I don't know what shade this is in but it's the cream bronzer and I like to just put it on my eyes just to add a little bit of definition and um kind of just like a little bit of dimension and then I also used elf um this is the brow gel and then I also used the brow like pomade kind of thing so you can see that I really like elf because they're super affordable and just really great products to be honest and then I don't always do this but if I'm feeling it I'll just add a little bit of sparkle on my eyes this is the Charlotte Tilbury palette in walk of no shame and I think the colors are really really pretty so I'm just gonna add a little bit of shimmer um just a little bit I'm gonna blend those two and I'm gonna put it in the middle of my eye just for a little something. I don't always do it, but I'm kind of feeling a little extra, a little extra fancy because I'm filming with you guys. Yeah, so work has been pretty intense. Um, it's been stressful. Um, sometimes I honestly think like, what did I do? I should have never left my legal assistant job. It's just a lot sometimes. I mean, I think I went through this even with being a legal assistant the first year when I look back at some of my vlogs. I know that what I'm going through is normal and that there is an adjustment period, but 
man, like if you guys have ever been in a job where it's just very demanding, especially the legal industry. I mean, and I thought that as a legal assistant, I kind of knew how demanding the legal industry could be, but this is a completely different area of the legal industry. I felt like also because I was hourly, there wasn't as much of an expectation to do overtime, obviously. Like if things didn't get done, then it was okay to leave it to the next day. But in this case, I'm so busy throughout the day that sometimes I don't even have time to calendar or to get through everything. So it's definitely been a struggle for me and something that I've been trying to do because my work has been so demanding is being really intentional with making plans, being really intentional with reaching out to people. And I think part of that is also the fact that now that I'm not invested in a relationship which takes a lot of time and energy, I have found myself reaching out to people more. And I think that's one thing, one good thing that has come out of what is what has been a really difficult period in my life right now. Um, emotionally, there's a lot going on for me while trying to adjust to a new to a new job that can be very demanding. One thing that has been helping me is just reaching out to people and being really in intentional with making plans because that also helps my mental health. By the way, I use the Essence Lash. This is such a great mascara. This is in lash princess and it's so affordable and it honestly is better way better than a lot of luxury or high-end mascaras or about the same and then i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner and just do a really simple lip um but yeah that's how life has been so far to sum it all up I am definitely in a really interesting period in my life. I'm being forced to confront a lot of demons and insecurities that I would not have been forced to confront had I not, you know, been single and, and had I not been just given the opportunity to relearn myself and essentially kind of rediscover who I am outside of a relationship. And so there are times where... I really enjoy it and there's beauty in it and I'm like okay I'm kind of finding my groove kind of finding my routine and then there's moments like this morning where I will completely just have an anxious um like panic attack where I am like freaking out and when those moments happen something that I like to do and I just wanted to share this in case any of you struggle with anxiety or just negative thinking is I is I like to call a friend usually when I call a friend or I'll call my mom um, it helps me get out of that negative headspace and I always feel a little bit better after I talk to her because she kind of talks sense into me and she really reminds me, you know, what's important and she just kind of snaps me out of it and so that helps. Um, I've also been going on a lot of walks lately, which I've always loved my, my afternoon walk. This is a kind of like lip balm slash lipstick from Sephora. It's just their regular brand, but it's actually quite good. And I got it as a dupe for the Pillow Talk lipstick. And I quite like it. It's a little too light for me because I am, I am more olive toned. But I find that if I mix it in with something that's a little bit of a darker pink, it actually looks, I think it blends well with my skin tone. Okay. So now that we have set our face, I am just going to take a fluffy brush and just take some of this powder off and blend it. Yeah. Okay. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Blush. This is in the color Joy. I love Rare Beauty blushes. I will say that it's quite messy. That's the only thing I don't like. I feel like the packaging should be a little bit cleaner. I, I just always struggle with this bottle like leaking. But other than that, it's a really great product. Okay. Oh, I think I did a little too much blush, but that's okay. And then I'll just go in with my fingers. And I like to do it this way because then the blush just melts into my skin and it looks really natural and so I like that 
I'll just do it like that. And then I'll also go in with the Rare Beauty. This is their Illuminizer, and this is in Mesmerize. So I'll do that. And I'll just dot a little bit on my face and like on the high points of my face. It's really good. And again, I'm just using my fingers to do that. I prefer the look of using my fingers actually because it just looks a little more natural and then I don't really contour but I do like to just define my nose a little bit so I'll go in with the putty bronzer again and then just kind of just follow the natural line and, and shape of my nose just to define it a little bit so I'll just go along the bridge just like that so it looks very 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 natural and very subtle i do have one last thing that i that i'll finish it off with so i'll just go in with this um this is a bronzer not bronzer but this is a highlighter and blush palette from the brand pure and i've had this for a while as well and then i'll just go in with a blush brush swirl it all around and then I'm gonna just tap that along my cheeks. And that just kind of makes my blush last a little bit longer, just because throughout the night, you know, or throughout the day, the blush can move. And so this just makes the blush last a little bit longer and it sets the liquid blush that I had put on previously. But yeah, this is my everyday natural makeup look. I love makeup that just kind of enhances my natural look i don't like heavy makeup mostly just because i have very sensitive skin my skin is very acne prone so less products is better and i have found a routine and products that don't irritate my skin and i just feel the most confident when i look like myself but just a little bit better or a little bit more put together so i hope you enjoyed it i will leave a list of the products that i used below if you guys are interested you could find a lot of this stuff on sephora um, but yeah, this is, this is the look. So that wraps up this chatty get ready with me. It was really nice to just kind of talk to you guys as if we're friends having coffee or having a glass of wine together. Maybe I can do more of these chatty get ready with me videos because they're really fun and casual. And if you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I am planning on doing a lot more vlogs and I have some really exciting ideas for just how I'm gonna be embracing this new chapter in my life and trying to make the most of it. So if you wanna stick around, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.